Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, what we're going to do is take a look at using the auto stacking feature inside of On One Photo Raw 2025. Now, I made comments about this in the past that if On One could figure out a way to auto stack images and instead of the smart organize when they showed the stacking feature, then that would be a tool worth using. Now, this works great if you are photographing things that look very similar, or if you are like me and photographing some bracketed images so you can merge them later on in post-production. Now, I wanna be very clear that it's not entirely perfect and you do need to finagle the tool just a little bit, but the good news is it's going to help with organizing your images a little bit faster, a little bit more efficiently. So let's go ahead and dive into how to do it. So here I have a series of images from the American Nash or National American History Museum. And it's, you know, kind of low light. So I shot bracketed and you can see I have 826 images inside of this folder. Now for a choline and, you know, consolidation option, I want to make sure that I kind of stack these images together, makes it a little bit easier for me to sort through because I'm not going to edit all of the photos that I took. All right. Now the way that you do the automatic stacking inside of Almond Photo Raw is you'll come up to the top menu here. You'll click on photo. And then you'll come all the way down to the bottom and hover over stacks. And then at the very bottom, you'll see that there's a feature called auto automatic stacking or automatic stacking. I can't speak today. Now, if you're not seeing this, you likely don't have the update installed. So my recommendation is that you go and you do the check for updates to make sure that you get this update installed. Now this did, this update did come out a little while ago. I'm just now getting around to making the video. So at the time of this video posting, just know that this isn't like a new update, but it is the most recent update that on one released probably about a few weeks ago. I don't know the exact date. If I find it, I'll pop it up somewhere here on the screen. So once you click it, it's going to start working instantly. Now, what I find is the default settings, they don't work very well for me, all right? So on my computer and, you know, based off of the hard drive that all of these photos are sitting on, it does take a little bit of time for those stacks to build because in the background, what On One is doing is it's building those stacks. Now, unfortunately, you can't start modifying this until that's done stacking the images. And depending on your system, it could take a little bit of time. So if On One could make this a little bit better by allowing us to modify the settings and then hit a button that says preview or you know generate or whatever it may do instead of just starting instantly I think that that would be extremely helpful but unfortunately I do have to wait until it is done stacking the first time around and then I can come in here and start to modify these so what you're seeing in the background as on one is rendering things through is it's starting to stack those images that I mentioned earlier, and it does a really good job. Now, for the sake of time on the tutorial, I'm not going to refine this any further, but you can notice that there's two sliders. The first one is visual similarity, and that's pretty straightforward. The more similar a photo looks, the higher the number, the more it's going to get nitpicky about if it should be in a stack or not. And then the lower the number, the less it's going to scrutinize the image to see if it's similar. If it's kind of similar, then it's likely going to stack it. So you got to play with this. I find that putting this on a one gives me the right ratio. And then I normally move the time between stacks down to about eight seconds to 10 seconds. It just depends on how I shot those images. That usually does a pretty good job. Right now it's set to one minute. And I don't know if this is one second or one minute, but when I move this down to eight, it does a pretty good job. But nonetheless, I said that this was a starting point, right? It's not perfect. There's some items like this one only has two of the images. This image is missing, right? But what I can do is click stack and then let on one just finish building those stacks because it's telling me that I'm going to get 174 stacks. And 
all I have to do now is kind of just go through and I can add images to the stack as I find that I need to do that. And the best way of doing that is using a keyboard shortcut. Now, on my Elgato Stream Deck, I actually have keyboard shortcuts saved and those are hot keys for me. But once this gets done, I'll show you how you can set up a keyboard shortcut for your own stacking capability, because that's going to be the best way of really getting these images added into stacks. Because if you have to go to the menu every time to add an image to a stack, I think that that's just going to get very cumbersome and very frustrating, time consuming. It's not that much fun. So keyboard shortcuts for the win. And I'm going to let this finish. And then when it's done, I'll come back and walk you through that keyboard shortcut. All right. So on one went ahead and created the stacks for me, but it missed a few images. You can see that this image looks very similar to these and they should be inside of that stack. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select all of these images holding or clicking on one and then holding shift and clicking over here. And then I'm going to go up to photo and then I am going to go add to stack. What on one is going to do is it's going to take those other images and add them into this stack. So now you can see I added those photos into the stack. I'm not sure why this is saying one of one when it's clearly one of four, but the other ones have the right numbers here. So two, three and four of four. Then, of course, if I click the little script or the little icon up here, I, I guess that one's in a stack all by itself, but I'm not quite sure how that would have happened. Sometimes things just happen strange, strange things happen. Now, what I promised you was how to set up your keyboard shortcuts so that way you can stack your images the way that you want to. Well, if you come up to the edit, not photo, and keyboard shortcuts. You can come to the keyboard shortcuts, type in stack, and you have all of your options right here to set up keyboard shortcuts for your stacks or for your stacking function. And then if you have an Elgato or any other macro command deck or whatever, then you can just program those buttons to these keyboard shortcuts. And then whenever you click it, it's going to do what you tell it to do. And that's as simple as it is. So you let me know down in the comment section, are stacks something that you plan on using in your workflow? Are they something that you think you just have absolutely no need for using? And what do you think about auto stacks? I'd love to hear your comments about it. I know that it's not perfect, but it definitely gets me in the the right place. And all I have to do now is just go through and there's a, a handful of images that I have to cull through and stack together as opposed to 826. I have 506. That's just the life of using bracketed images or shooting multiple frames at any one given event. So with that, until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.